The United States Geological Survey has said that there's over 160 potentially active volcanoes in the US. Our history has been greatly affected by volcanic eruptions, with one of the most well-known ones being that of Mount Vesuvius. In 79 AD, Mount Vesuvius erupted, destroying much of the city with volcanic debris and covering it in 19 feet of ash. For centuries, the ruins of Pompeii laid undisturbed and perfectly preserved by the thick blanket of ash. In the 1700s, the discovery of the once hidden city was revealed to the world. It was completely frozen in time. There were perfectly preserved remains of people trying to find shelter from the eruption. Even bakeries still had fresh loaves of bread in the oven. Today, people's lives are still being shaped by volcanoes. Scientists have said that it's important that we monitor and study these natural wonders, saying that we can learn a lot from studying volcanoes. Sometimes, though, researchers are informed of a chilling encounter that happened due to volcanic activity. This was the case when a man in Hawaii had fallen down a lava tube. Hawaii's Volcano National Park Service said the following, as islands created by volcanoes, Hawaii is crisscrossed by countless lava tubes. These underground passageways, also known as pyrodugs, are created by lava flows themselves and are capable of transporting great quantities of lava long distances underneath the surface. When the supply of lava stops at the end of an eruption, or if it gets diverted elsewhere, it leaves behind an empty cave. End quote. The 71-year-old man was cutting his trees at the time of the incident, with officials saying that he had fallen around 22 feet or 7 metres underground. Responding officers arrived at the scene at 8.30 and found the man underground. The Hawaii Police Department said the following, No foul play is suspected in this case. End quote. The man was taken to hospital, but unfortunately, it was announced that he had passed away. According to Hawaii's National Park Service, they said that it can be hard to detect when these tubes form, noting that they can be created within a matter of weeks, saying that this is why accidents happen, because people can be walking on one area of land and it can be fine one week, but fast forward a week later and a lava tube suddenly forms. National Park officials said the following, when a lava tube is active, lava travels along its floor at temperatures that exceed 2,000 degrees. Winds of superheated fumes may blast through the tunnel, yet the only sound may be the constant soft hiss of the relentless flow. End quote. It's not just Hawaii where this has happened. Solfatara is a volcanic crater that can be found in Italy, and as with anything like this, it attracts a large audience. This volcano is dormant and hasn't been active in hundreds of years, but despite this, the magma beneath it is still very hot. Back in September 2017, the family visited the region in order to take some photographs. However, the family's 11-year-old got too close to the crater, slipped and fell in. Officials said that due to the sulfuric fumes, he quickly lost consciousness and ended up passing away. The younger brother also slipped, but officials announced that he was able to get himself out. Back in March 2010, a man was visiting Mount Bata in Bali. The man was a Swedish tourist who'd hiked up the active volcano. However, when he reached the top, he'd lost his footing and fell in. Due to the height he'd climbed, is announced that he fell over 150 meters, or 500 feet. The friend said that he'd passed away upon impact, and said that he'd gone up the volcano on his own during a morning walk. Unlike many of these stories, officials in the region said that the hike is extremely safe, and that many tourists had taken this path. They said this was just a freak accident. Residents in Los Llanos have just said they were sleeping for the night when they were woken up by a loud rattling noise. 
They said they were sleeping just outside the exclusion zone in La Palma, saying that they had been forced out of their houses as they'd been engulfed by the lava. They are currently living in caravans, and have said they're worried as the lava is getting closer. One of the residents said the following, I'm in despair because I don't know what's going to happen to my house. We spent the last few nights staring at the volcano, trying to see what it was doing, but now it's kind of normal to have it there. End quote. Those living in these conditions though have said that they're thankful to be alive, and that they're trying to look at the positives. The United States Geological Survey said the following, the ongoing eruption at the summit began at 3.21pm on September 29, 2021. Lava activity is currently confined within the crater. Gas emissions and seismic activity at the summit remain elevated. HVO field crews, equipped with specialised safety gear, monitor the eruption from within the National Park, with NPS permission. HVO scientists collect detailed data to assess hazards and understand how the eruption is evolving at the summit, all of which are shared with the National Park Service and emergency managers. Access to this hazardous area is by permission from and in condition with Hawaii's Volcano National Park. Kilauea is the youngest and most active volcano in the island of Hawaii with a consistently active summit caldera that frequently hosts lava lake-style eruptions. Forecasting heights and magma activity is key to assessing global volcanic hazards, including eruptions from lateral rift zones of volcanoes. At Kilauea Volcano, lava is repeatedly affecting the same segments. End quote. So what do you make of these recent announcements? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.